Hi guys, uh, it's indeed our pleasure to have uh, Ruslan with us. Uh, Ruslan uh, is uh, our keynote speaker. He is basically uh, founder of a wonderful company, uh, doing very well. I think it is voted one of the best testing companies out there in the world. Uh, having said that, uh, he was our uh, keynote speaker in the last edition as well. Uh, it's indeed a pleasure to have Ruslan with us. Uh, I would like to request Ruslan to speak a little bit about yourself, if you can let our audience know. Uh, by the way, we, you don't need any introduction. Uh, I may not be able to do justice to what you are, uh, but we are a follower of what you are doing. A lot of people in India love you and your work and your post. Uh, and I think uh, you have made a mark in the testing world for all of us. So indeed, awesome to have you with us, Ruslan. Thank you so much uh, for the intro and inviting me uh, to speak with you guys. Absolutely a pleasure always be and participate in various of different seminars and webinars which you guys are organizing. Uh, you're doing a fantastic job for the uh, testing community and uh, this is uh, kudos and credit to all of you guys who are organizing this uh, very, very important and necessary event uh, for everyone to grow, for everyone to advance in their quality assurance and testing careers. That's fantastic job what you guys do. Uh, a little bit about myself and for those who do not know me, uh, my name is Ruslan Desyatnik, a founder and CEO of QA Mentor. Um, I've been uh, around in this field for the last 23 years, uh, started my career at the junior level and then made myself up, climbing up step by step uh, into, uh, you know, uh, managing the quality assurance and testing global organization QA Mentor across the world. Great. Uh, I think uh, awesome to have you, Ruslan, once again. And as we were discussing just before this call, your topic on the, the CI automation for the end-to-end -end, uh, software cycle is something very interesting. Can you give a little glimpse about that, uh, your keynote session for our audience to be uh, excited about? Uh, I'm sure they would be. Just having your name around will be exciting enough, but a <laughs> little bit knowledge about what you're going to cover would be really awesome for all the folks out here. Sure. Uh, I, I give a cover the most uh, probably hottest topic uh, which is automation everybody looking for the automation everybody is trying to get into the automation every job has a tech automation is required um, so automation is you know uh, discussed everywhere across the board so i really wanted to speak about the automation and how the automation can help uh, throughout the whole software development life cycle, starting practically from uh, the initial stages, uh, how the continuous integration, continuous delivery pipeline works within the automation. And also, um, I wanted to explain that automation is not a magic. Uh, there is a lot of thinking about the automation that it's so simple and easy. Uh, you invest one time and then you can leverage throughout the whole, uh, you know, many years to come, but that's uh, really a false uh, interpretation. Also, not many companies understand how to apply automation uh, adequately within the agile uh, DevOps uh, world. Um, and that's where we also going to discuss and I explain um, all this uh, cons and pros and, you know, what we see out there and how successfully um, our organization can be in implementing uh, in sprint automation, whether it's possible or not. So all of these types of uh, practical um, experiences I going to share with the audience, not just what you can read in the book, because what book stated, it's totally different from reality. And I will share the real things, uh, now success stories, uh, things where, you know, we made some mistakes or I personally made some mistakes and how to avoid those mistakes. So the real thing, you know, not just, uh, you know, something uh, where you can read uh, as a book definition or how in practice, um, you know, you, you can start automating, but in reality, it's going to be completely opposite. So you, you, you're you going to hear all of those interesting uh, stories uh, in, in this session, and I'm looking forward to meeting all of you guys there. Awesome. I think this is going to be super wonderful uh, with uh, getting an insight into what is the real stuff. Uh, we're looking forward to it, Ruslan. So I'm going to go a little tangent and I'm going to ask a little different questions, Ruslan. Uh, I guess a lot of people know about what your company is doing on the technical side and what you keep on doing so wonderfully on the testing side. Can we ask you a little different question? Uh, uh, what do you like? Do you, are you a foodie by any chance? Uh, do you love certain kind of food or any kind of specific item that you would like to share with all our audience here? 
Uh, absolutely. I, you know, I like all types of food. Uh, there is really no preferences. Uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I'm tired from the Russian food. So I'm trying all the different types of food uh, across the world. Um, obviously, um, I like Indian food as well. Uh, you know, uh, I remember and I recall when I used to work in the big corporates environments, uh, we had the potlucks uh, where a lot of people uh, brought different types of food and we have international team all over the world. So we definitely enjoy various of different dishes. Um, I am a meat person. I like meat. Um, not veg. I'm not a veggie guy, although I'm thinking about it. Um, I like all kinds of meat. Uh, I like shish kebab and gyra and, and you know, various of different types of uh, food. Um, I like uh, spicy food as well. Um, uh, that's that's about my food preferences. Wow, amazing. I think, uh, did you ever get a chance to visit India? And we know that you've got a very big office in Pune and you've got something going out of Jaipur as well. So did you ever get a chance to come here and have some, uh, some kind of specific uh, meat item in an Indian dish around? No, uh, no. Unfortunately, I still didn't came to uh, India yet, uh, and I was planning to go actually this year. And unfortunately, COVID um, hit us, and I, I didn't make it there. Uh, a lot of people waiting for me there, and I yeah. really wanted to meet a lot of you guys there and my team, obviously. Uh, and I feel so bad that I still <laughs> didn't make it there, but I definitely will come, you know, uh, let COVID come down a little bit and we, we definitely will see each other. Yeah, definitely. We, we all look forward to the day when Ruslan, you get a chance to come here. I'm sure that we can spend some time with you, maybe whatever little time in your uh, schedule. So uh, can I ask you uh, one more question, which is not related to testing per se, uh, which has got to do with uh, in, in general about uh, how do you keep yourself uh, inspired? What keeps you going, Ruslan? Uh, obviously, you are a big inspiration for us, but we really want to understand what uh, inspires you as a person, as a human being, as as an inventor, founder. Sure. Uh Absolutely. It's a great question. Uh, so what, what keeps me going every day? Because I wake up every day and I'm excited because I'm going to do uh, what I love to do. And what I love to do is to do everything in the capacity of testing, whether, you know, coaching, training, guiding, uh, providing strategic support or simply analyzing requirements and providing recommendations uh, and enhancements on the usability of the application or working with my guys side by side and reviewing test cases or together identifying defects. Uh, you know, what keeps me motivated is uh, the, the culture uh, in our organization. It took uh, us, uh, you know, a long time to build the right culture. And from the beginning, that was our dream to establish a culture which everybody will enjoy working for, you know, for QA Mentor. So that's one aspect. The second aspect is uh, obviously clients happiness and satisfaction that keeps us uh, going and motivated and exciting about what we do. We like to release uh, successfully uh, projects so they will hit the market and start generating revenue for our customers and clients. And we would like to see clients happy uh, utilizing those platforms, uh, leveraging you know the functionalities which uh, we tested and assured that they are, uh, you know, Develop based on the requirements and defect free. So you know all of those um, areas are keeps uh, me obviously motivated, keeps me going. Uh, you know I like to uh, talk to various of different people around the world. I mean LinkedIn is a great platform. I yeah. try to spend as much uh, time as possible to learn and speak with a lot of people around the world uh, to understand the challenges which they have, challenges around QA and testing answer any questions and you know that's also very exciting because i meet people every day new people you know with with various interesting uh sharing experiences um so that's that's what really uh, keeps me going and motivated and i wake up every day happy that you know i want to start working and when i miss a day i you know uh, i feel sad although you know we all need to have vacations we all need to rest but even during the vacation, I cannot completely disconnect from, you know, from reality, from work. I, you know, keep watching and monitoring my my, my phone and trying to <laughs> respond. Uh, e even though I promised my wife and my daughter I'm not going to touch anything on my laptop, I, I'm not going to open it up. 
And when they are away, I sneak and, and try to see what's going on <laughs> there, you know, or call uh, Nitin Tavdi, who is uh, operating yeah. that in, uh, in India and asking how things are going, you know. <laughs> Um, yeah. so again, without this job, without this work, I can't really possibly uh, imagine, you know, living uh, without this. So it's it still motivates me. I wake up every day and there is m many more years to come when I probably will get bored or, or will get tired. I'm still energetic and there's plenty of things to do for us. And I wanted to witness how testing space evolves, how... Um, you know, various of different tools evolves, how the whole testing changes, because I see huge changes in the last, you know, 20 years since I started. Uh, yeah. A lot of interesting, you know, methodologies and transformations uh, kicks in, and uh, that's very exciting to see. Amazing. I think uh, a lot of us uh, will keep that in mind, that work is a passion for you, and that is the biggest inspiration for you and keeps you motivated. I think that would be a great learning lesson for all of us. Uh, I've seen you that uh, you have a dog and I, 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 one of the uh, posts I saw that you were playing uh, some football or some frisbee with your dog. Uh, <laughs> yeah, actually, actually, uh, it, I, I don't have a dog, but yes, I'm a, I'm a soccer fan. Uh, I actually yeah. used to play before uh, back in Russia for uh, the national team uh, under 16 wow. for the Moldova. Um, and then, you know, at 16 years old, I came to United States and continue playing soccer for high school, then for college, uh, then a little semi-pro uh, for one of the leagues. Um, so I really enjoy sports. I don't have any animals, uh, although I promised my daughter uh, that we're, we're going to get the dog. She wants the dog. So uh, I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about it. So hopefully uh, one of those days uh, we, we're going to get the dog. I, I really enjoy animals and uh, it's just uh, you need to take care of them and uh, <laughs> you need to spend time as well. And that's yeah. important, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Dogs are not toys. You, it's, it's, yes. it's like humans, right? You, 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 you need yeah. to spend time. You need to take care of them, right? Yeah, yeah very true. No, I, we 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 keep on looking at uh, your post as well, Ruslan, and I. Uh, that's what uh, made us interested in your soccer abilities. I I saw you dribbling and I saw you uh, kicking the ball ball many times. So I thought uh, about asking that. Yeah, that's uh, the stress reliever. You know, when I'm too stressed, I go and kick the ball. You know, just just to, <laughs> uh, to, to 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 get nervousness out of me, so I can go yeah. back. You know, <laughs> and continue so, doing it. You know, do, do you keep a soccer ball? Yeah, do you keep a soccer ball in your office as well, by any chance? Uh, uh, yes, I, 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 there is a ball which I jungle, and there is a lot of things uh, in my office. Uh, you know, which, which, uh, which out there. You know, and and, and sometimes you know uh, I have some some ammunition as well. You know, you never know wh wh when the developer. <laughs> Will, will visit me, you know, so I just keep it, you know, some ammunition in place. Yeah, I'm just kidding, guys. So, you know, this, this is a souvenir which I get from my team a uh, long time back for one of the organizations which I work. I mean, they joked, they actually, they said, Ruslan, you need it, you know. You're you, 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 you you're really getting there on the nerves of developers, finding a lot of defects, so you, you better have some protection with you. you know? Yeah, better to have that ammunition, including hitting them with a the ball if required, but it is really, really good. Right. <laughs> so it is a fun conversation, uh, Ruslan. I think that we can keep on going, but we're looking forward for your session. I know that we are running out of time. We, we allocated 15 minutes. Uh, so thank you so much. We're looking forward to your session. Thanks a lot, Ruslan. Thank you so much for inviting, and I'm looking forward for a great session out there with a lot of great speakers I saw. It's exciting and uh, it's it's tremendous what you guys are doing for the QA community. Everybody is excited to attend uh, those uh, sessions last year. I remember, I mean, my guys attended uh, almost the entire team and yes. actually it was on site. Uh, it was a little better than you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, remotely, but still remotely. I mean, this is a new norm nowadays. It's yes. still going to be yeah. fine and entertaining. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, speaking there at, at your event. Thank you so much again for the invite. Thank you so much. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, thank you so much.